The average lifespan of a mobile phone is about 12 to 18 months, depending on your chosen service provider. But what if instead of discarding your outdated model, the device could simply self-destruct, reducing landfill, e-waste and airborne toxins? So this is an example uh, of a transient uh, integrated circuit. It's a simple radio circuit. It involves transistors, some diodes, uh, resistor lines, capacitor inductors. It's all built on a thin film of silk, which is a naturally occurring material. Transient electronics means biocompatible devices that disappear or dissolve at the end of their useful life without posing a threat to the environment. The self-destructing microchip is part of a project with a very special name. Born to die, but born to die in a very controlled way. So we're not talking about unreliable, flaky electronics. We're talking about electronics that's very specifically engineered to have excellent properties, time independent, until the programmed moment at which you don't need the device anymore, and then it dissolves away. That's the trick. Of course, there's a gigantic leap from creating a small vanishing chip to equally soluble motherboards capable of driving the sophisticated electronics we use. So if you could make key components, or eventually the entire cell phone, out of materials that would last for three, five years and then naturally dissolve, that would be ideal. The research team is also studying the device's potential use in the military, medical care and the technology benefits for people and the planet. The evolution of self-destructing devices could be revolutionary. In the US in 2010 alone, about 150 million used phones were dropped into landfills. Every year, 20 to 50 million tons of e-waste is generated worldwide.